Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Komi Can't Communicate Season 2 Episode Number 12 Reaction and this is the final episode of this season. Right, the previous episode we met two new characters who we met before but we got officially introduced you could say. Um, Onigashima and Sato. So Onigashima is a girl who is always kind of gets a little bit angry a bit quickly you know and uh, her like you know like her like and, and stuff happens to her like you know weird stuff like you know her being completely very much unlucky in most of the things you know and uh, those things actually pisses her off um so she was kind of getting more and more angry as the day went but komi was there komi was uh, like you know helped her out and uh, you know like she became good friends with komi after that you know like they went to the batting center and yeah they had a good time and the other person we met was sato now sato is a girl who is very nice you know um she helps tries to help everyone and usually does more does most of the things without even the other person telling them her to do and that's why a lot of people actually rely on her and she used to do the um uh, the the desks and everything before uh, the class started and uh, here like you know, in the previous episode we see how uh, like, you know, uh one of her friends says that don't do these type of things like, you know, people are going to take advantage of you this and that and you know like she by the end of it she actually asks help from komi and you know like Tadana, all of them and uh, yeah they were like all right sure why not like you know and they decided to help her out so she realized that not only does she uh, like you know, she, she, it's not that she should stop helping others she should help others and also take help from others like that's that was the correct way of doing this and yeah and a few other things happened in the previous episode that scene with um yamai like you know yamai putting on komi's stocking that was something i guess and uh, <laughs> yeah a few other things uh, happened and uh, yeah so let us begin with the final episode of this season and uh, i don't think there's any news of any uh upcoming seasons I'll, I'll check it out after watching this episode i'll check it out if there's any other news uh but i'm pretty sure we'll get another season because um the i think the manga is very ahead like a lot by a lot and uh like they have ample amount of source but like you know like material to adapt it from so i'm, I'm sure we'll get some in the in the in the very near future so anyways let us begin so yeah I'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here. Sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. White day, okay. Yeah, they recently had the Valentine, so okay, white day. He needs to give one to Katai and one to Komi. There's no other chocolate she got. And probably some for the family. <laughs> Hundred times. Yo, she he has his bicycle as his wallpaper? I guess. Oh wait, he kept the package. Okay, stop. He does these weird things once in a while, once in a while, Tadano, you know? <laughs> hmm. Wait, what? Um... Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I don't know about that. But she might be able to. Uh, she doesn't know that Komi gave him or some. <laughs> Wait, so you can give something other than chocolate as well? Like other than food? Okay. Ha! 
<laughs> Yo, she's like. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. I didn't get a cushion. Mm. Yeah, special grade. But she also did say it's the best one. <laughs> Lasting impression. <laughs> she, she's talking about the chocolate. No, I think she's talking about the chocolate. No. Oh no, she's talking. Okay, she's actually talking about Komi. Okay. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh God. What? Okay. Damn. <laughs> Mom only knows that Tadana got chocolate wrong. <laughs> oh my god, these guys. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> Attaining enlightenment. Oh, the, wait, Narsa didn't get any? Oh my god. Stop. All right. Okay. She goes too far. Ah, there you go. Katai. <laughs> Let's see if your anxiety. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, that's an um, interesting gift. What she? What did she buy? He buy? Oh my God, this guy. Oh! <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait, this is the same thing that happened with Komi. Komi wasn't also able to give and then she ended up going back, going to his house. Wow, he's all dressed up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like the I feel like the mom is going to open It's the mom, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the mom is just waiting behind him. <laughs> it's Komi, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's 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 a brother. What was his name? I forgot. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yo. Wait, who was behind him? Oh, was that Kong? Oh my god. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. So it was Komi behind him, I think. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's the dad. Ah! Simstone! <laughs> Wait, he's drinking it? Oh, okay, okay. Oh my god, he's just saying every. <laughs> uh. Yo, the piano, what's happening? Hey, she's here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Observing. Calm down, correcting his posture, okay? Wait, the dad... What? Okay. <laughs> Intensely aware, okay. Hmm. All right. I wonder what he bought. I'm sure. I'm sure uh, yeah, there you go. Let, let, let us see as well. Hand cream. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there you go, there's a little candy beside it. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What does it mean? And does she know about it? You know, the whole thing about marshmallow, the, the cookie, candy. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think it's, her family is going to let him go or... Oh, okay, okay, there you go. I, I thought they would be like, oh, stay, like, you know, have, have a meal or something. All right. Ah! <laughs> Okay, that was good. What? Um, what's happening here? What the? You do. He has a war. Oh my god, we used to do this with pens. <laughs> Danny! <laughs> Tadanoko's desk! Oh my god, what? Oh, okay. I know I was taking the eraser to the player using this move. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. 
That's a huge eraser. Snake space. <laughs> Why? Who are you talking to? Oh my god. I think it's going to self destruct. And yep, there you go. Self destructed. Out of, out of the r ring. <laughs> this thing is huge. And I disqualified again. Wow. <laughs> All right. Okay, cushion two. <laughs> oh my god. Disqualified. As well. Oh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Komi-san's victory. Excited for some reason. <laughs> Four years. Oh god, she's back. Uh. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Kato's like, what the hell is happening here? Oh my god! Everyone's twelve years. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Just all this reference. What <laughs> could? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that's a cute one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, alright, okay. Both are disqualified, I guess. She. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Getting exhausted. <laughs> what? Ye what? Okay. Yeah, that's unfair. Ah, okay. That was painful. I just give a little flick. <laughs> a little flick. Yes. That was a good aim, I have to say. Yay. <laughs> My god, wow. Oh. <laughs> She's slow. <laughs> okay. Oh. There you go, she has so many friends now, you know? Sorry, I'm fine. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. 
what's happening? Why is she? I, I was thinking she was recollecting all those days. Collapsible one. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, what's going on? Couple of what? Oh, the I so, yeah, she's thinking that if they'll be in the same class. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah, true. Agadi and then I think Yamai. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. The way Na Yamai was introduced. <laughs> mm. Yeah. They really become good friends of her. <laughs> oh yeah, these two. Yeah. And the Valentines as well. <laughs> Well, hmm. <laughs> <I'm> sweating. <laughs> well, that was decent enough, you know. <laughs> oh my god all right yeah <laughs> yeah did oh my god <laughs> oh She's going to invite them? Uh... <laughs> oh my god, that's cat. Wait, what? Oh damn, the cat even... <laughs> oh, this is the, the friendship... Uh, no, the, the notebook, which he...
<laughs> and here we go. Oh, those two cats. Uh, so this is a new new class. Wait, what the? Who is that with that hair? That's a crazy hairstyle. What? <laughs> I think these are new characters for the upcoming seasons, aren't they? The guy who had like a, like the ears of Buddha. Uh, good morning. Oh, is she, is she going to talk? Try to talk from here onwards. I think she will. Okay, there you go. <laughs> okay, there you go. Well, okay, that's the end, I think. Yeah. All right. Now, okay, first things first. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll have to check. I don't think there has been any news of any sequel. Uh, um, but I'm sure we'll get some news soon, hopefully. Because like I said, the... Uh, what do you call it? The manga has a lot of chapters, I think that can be adapted like it's not a problem uh so yeah i'm sure we'll get it like you know eventually we'll get a like you know news like oh komi san is coming back for third season but either way that was the ending uh we had a good chunk of developments this season we uh, like i have to say um you know like the whole i i have to say the whole uh, um school trip and uh, you know like the valentines these two were like the major uh, development points in this season uh the development part of the uh, school trip was komi actually got friends who knows her a lot better than the others like i always felt it so weird like you know this is one thing because where like most of the characters that are friends with her are just background characters i i felt like you know like like most of the characters that she has is like good friends with you know most of them are just there because you know like because it's komi you know they don't have that emotional bond or that emotional connection that um you know like friends should act like should have between them so that's why i think the school trip was one of the biggest uh, turning points where komi actually got two friends who she actually um, shares an emotional bond with. They know her for who she is, you know? Like, they don't put her on a pedestal of, oh, Komi-san is a goddess. No pedestal, nothing like that. Like, these two. Uh, I would have said, like, Najimi and, like, you know, all the others, Agari, Yamai, they are also good friends with Komi. But I feel like Kato and Sasaki are probably even better friends with Komi than like all the other characters like najimi or uh like you know uh, agari um onemine all these characters they're friends with komi but i feel like the emotional connection or whatever you like call it sasaki and kato like you know like just because they were together in the trip they share a big bond you know like a, like a, like a, like a strong bond because of that like like that yeah like i don't know how to explain it but i feel like them going with komi and like you know, actually spending time with komi like you know kind of uh like you know sleeping together and like you know having fun going well to different places together brought them a lot closer than all the other characters we have been seeing up until now like you know like najimi yamai agari um onemine otori all these characters that we've been seeing the emotional bond komi has with them is a lot more and I think that's good because she needed someone like you know some friends who were like that for to him uh, to her 
while another thing i was i really liked about the season is we got um a few characters who are actually became good friends with tadano as well uh, one of the biggest uh, like you know one of the biggest characters being uh, katai katai became an actual genuine friend of tadano and i would i would say that uh, naruse as well to some extent we barely got to see him that much uh, we got a we got to see a lot of katai but we barely get got to say anything about naruse we kind of got like a little introduction and just that and then we got like you know to see him in the trip that's it but the development with katai was a lot more and that's why i'm i'm saying like katai has like a bigger development here i'm guessing now so will probably have in the future seasons uh but yeah tadano got also got like an actual like you know like like good friends like you know people who can he can call good friends not those characters who are just here for komi and this is one thing i always talked about in the previous season i said that um i would love to see tadano getting a genuine friend like all the other friends that he has obviously except uh, najimi najimi is a good friend with tadano uh, <clears throat> or like you know all the other all the other like the, the inner group that we have the the main group except them all the others they they just here for komi as if, as for tadano they don't care about him so that's why i was saying like oh like you know like i i really want someone to who have who will have like a genuine bond with tadano like a genuine friendship and uh, there you go this season we got i would i would like to say two of them but like i said we got barely enough uh, like you know development for naruse but i'm sure we'll get some uh, naruse and katai we got two of them so there you go and uh, the, these two were like you know this was like one of the biggest developments another development the valentines like you know day development you could say and uh, i i i consider that also has like a development in the positive direction for their relationship tadano and um komi's relationship that was a good good progress so yeah these two were the main highlights i think of this season and obviously the main, the, the new characters that we met we also met a f- quite a few new characters here and uh, Yeah. All right. So this episode, we begin with Tadano thinking about what to give to Komi. Um, <clears throat> you know, uh, for the white day. Now I kind of wonder here. We we see to Komi uh, Tadano talking about how different things means different things. Like candy means I like you, marshmallows means I dislike you. <laughs> so wait. So oh my god. So <laughs> if if you, uh, uh, I don't know. If you get like chocolate from someone. And you, <laughs> and you know, why do you give that person marshmallow? That means, oh, that's that's kind of uh, bad, isn't it? Like I feel bad for the person who's going to receive marshmallow. But I guess, like you know, like who even thinks, like you know, looks at all of these. Tadano just was, uh, like you know, trying to find out what these things mean. I, I I think anyone barely even knows about these hidden messages or these hidden meanings. But anyways, um. <clears throat> yeah, candy means I like you. Marshmallows means I dislike you, and cookies means just friends. Oh wait, so I guess people interact like this. Like if someone gives you like a, <laughs> like a, like a uh, actual chocolate, like a like not a friendship chocolate but a love chocolate, then if you give <laughs> that person marshmallow, that means you're rejecting that person. Oh my god, like I said, that's kind of, that's kind of um, sad, isn't it? for the person who will be receiving it uh, but anyways um enough about that so uh, oh yeah what i was trying to say uh, i'm i'm wondering if tadano like tadano was f- like looking at all of these hidden meanings i'm wondering if komi knew about it as well because when she he gave Ta- komi the candy which means i like you komi was kind of like you know fidgeting so i i'm guessing i'm, I'm guessing that komi also probably <laughs> tried to find out the hidden meanings and she knew that and she was fidgeting because of that or maybe just because she was embarrassed i don't know but i would like to think that komi also knows about the hidden meanings <laughs> maybe my wishful thinking anyways um <clears throat> so yeah like at first she, he was kind of thinking what to do what to give and uh, <laughs> he asks um her sister wait her sister's name is name is hitomi isn't it yeah so he asks uh, his sister and his sister was at first his sister was like wait you're going to give it to like you know the boy aren't you so like you just give some kind of a, like a, some kind of food you know like they'll be happy with that now there's another thing that i i think i i never knew or not knew but i didn't realized 
is that you can give something else like it's not only limited to chocolates like you can give something else as well i guess you know so that's something that i got to know like you know like when hitomi said that oh like not only chocolates you can give something else as well i was like oh really okay because i like i thought like in white day you give only chocolates you know just like in valentine's so yeah i guess you can also give something else so hitomi was like all right like you know like like who else are you going to give and then she like you know kind of connected the dots she remembered the silhouette you know outside and she has seen komi before you know like they have been here in this room like you know they had like i think they were like studying or something i forgot that previous season it happened and uh, she has seen komi so she probably connected the dots and she's like oh all right then <laughs> she's like so tell me you know like like at, f at first i thought when she was asking do you like you know like which do you like her like you know like no she says suki like this is the thing about the translation you know like the uh, the, the translation here is like like you know, she says suki which means like you know like do you like it or like her it can mean anything you know so it was kind of vague here so i was like she's saying like is she talking about the chocolate but then i realized like no she's talking about komi <laughs> and tadano was like uh, yeah kind of i'm interested and hitomi is like all right fine then i'll help you out <laughs> and uh, yeah then she goes with tadano to the department store and brings the gift all right uh, and then the actual day oh my god yamai brought uh the thing that like the candy <laughs> which oh god like yeah this, this girl goes too far sometimes i don't know but i guess this was okay <laughs> it's just a chocolate <laughs> but the the previous episode i still remember the thing that she did my god using the you know like put the stocking in her face like god damn <clears throat> anyway so everyone's just fidgeting and you know, like everyone's giving the chocolates that they received you know like and um obviously the boys gives starts giving out to them to everyone kata i gave one to um kato and uh, yeah so obviously she was just so happy and sasaki was like ha 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 <laughs> oh god and kata i brought something for komi which is <laughs> what is that like how to master like it's, it's like a workout book i think like <laughs> uh, and komi was like oh my god why is why is this why is he giving me this and this section my god <laughs> i love this part where tadano is like he starts very smoothly he's like Oh, like you know, we should go for a dinner, like you know, for like you know, for a dinner, uh, and then she just decides to kind of go past that, and she's like, "Katai, good, I'm talking about you," and he just ran away from like you know that position. She, she he was uh, initially going to ask Komi, but then <laughs> he got cold feet, and he was just like, "Oh my God, Katai is there? Let me just divert the conversation here." And there you go, he failed at the first attempt, I guess you could say and uh all of the boys went to have a meal <laughs> and uh, nothing happened and it's so funny here like you know, tadano did the same thing that komi did on the day he wasn't able to do and like you know like give it to the other person and he had to actually go to komi's house the same thing that komi did komi came to tadano's house as well and <laughs> yeah he dressed up and everything go goes to komi's house and with the gift and like okay this part i need to check this part out oh it was someone else i was like you know the, you know that section when tano was just standing in front of the door and uh, there's like someone behind him it, it happened so quickly at for a moment i thought that was komi's mom and i'm like wait is, is that the mom and then i'm like oh, no the mom is inside so is that komi it's a random person it's, it's just a random neighbor now that i'm looking about at it again <laughs> a random neighbor with a cat <laughs> all right anyways um okay so tadano's there just kind of 
he's thinking like, I need to press the bell, this and that. And he presses the bell. Wait, the person who goes and comes to the intercom is the brother, isn't it? Just a sec. Let me let me listen to the voice again. Yeah, it's it's the brother, I think. Okay, so the brother uh, came to the intercom. All right. Okay. So Tadan was like, <laughs> okay. He's like, ah, uh, is Shoko-san here? Oh, wait. Oh, I realized what actually happened. I was like, why was the mom acting like that? He caught, <laughs> he says Shoko-san here, which is the last name. Like she probably was going to call her Komi and she, then she, she, he probably thought that, oh my God, I'm going to call him her, by her first name. I should probably like, you know, use the last name. And that's why he said Shoko-san. So, <laughs> and Shoko can mean anyone, you know, like the whole family is Shoko. <laughs> so she, he's like, is Shoko-san here? I'm her friend from school. My name is Tadano. <laughs> And <laughs> and the mom comes out and the mom is like <laughs> the mom is like what, what's wrong Tadanuku? That was a joke, obviously. She was just like you know like just joking around. And like I said, because the whole family is Shoko, like you know he he, he couldn't say Komi-san. <laughs> that's why he could have meant anyone. And that's why the mom was just came out. The mom was like just playing a joke with him. And <laughs> she was like what, what's wrong Tadanuku? <laughs> oh my god okay and uh, yeah so then he gets in uh now no he, he was thinking about going away he was like okay i'll come back later but <laughs> the mom is like come in no, come in no problem come in and just <laughs> and just <laughs> brings Ko tadano to komi's room the room is obviously untidy because komi went shopping she probably just changed and went shopping there and everything's just sprawled around like you know all the books and everything that, her dress and all and <laughs> tadano's just fidgeting he's like oh my god what am i supposed to do here and <laughs> i love how the dad comes in and <laughs> brings tea for himself sits down <laughs> starts sipping the tea he was probably here to like you know give some company to uh, Tadano, you know, and he like he probably thought like ah oh, he's just alone like you know just probably lonely there. Let me just go and like you know sit beside him and give him some company. <laughs> I'm sure that's what he thought. That's why he came. And uh, obviously Tadano was like, whoa, whoa, what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> and he actually says everything like you know this is for like when I brought like a return gift for show uh, like you know Komi-san. That's why I'm here. All that and. <laughs> I love how Komi comes in, just starts panicking, <laughs> puts, <laughs> tells her dad to go out, quickly, like, you know, makes the room tidy, and just sits down fidgeting. And, uh, yeah, and then finally, like, at first, they were, like, you know, uh, Tadon wasn't able to properly say, but then in the, by the end of it, he's like, oh, I brought something for you. Here you go. And he brought like a cream, like, like a face cream or a hand, hand cream, hand cream, a hand cream. And there was also a little candy beside him. And I, I'm pretty sure the, the idea for the candy was Tadano's idea. You know, like I think that like the uh, Hitomi told him to only buy the, like, you know, the cream. But Tadano probably thought like, you know what, let me also include a candy inside it because the can candy means I like you, you know. So I'm, I'm like 99% sure that like, you know, the candy was Tadano's idea. Uh, while obviously the hand cream was Hitomi's idea. So, there you go. And like I said, you know, he's like, oh, that's just a piece of candy, you know, like, and Omi's eyes kind of, like, you know, just pop out. This is, this is the reaction, like, you know, that's why I said that probably Komi also knows the hidden meanings behind all of that. That's why he, she was so surprised. Her eyes just popped out and she kind of looked like, you know, kind of started trying to look on the other side <laughs> and got embarrassed. There you go.
and uh, yeah like uh, she she liked the, like you know like the cream was also there and Tan was like all right i'm going to go like you know back home and i thought maybe like you know the mom would be like oh just stay like you know like have you know have dinner with us or something like that but i guess it was too early to have dinner <laughs> it, it was just evening so anyways um and later on komi puts the cream on like kind of smells and it's a nice smell and there you go she's happy and yeah, i'm i'm pretty sure she knew the hidden meaning behind the candy or at least you know she kind of i don't know anyways um so yeah that was the first section then the next part we get the whole eraser war whatever and like i said i've said this multiple times in my other videos as well i think but like you know in, in my place like in my school as well we used to used to do the same thing only the exception is we didn't use erasers we used to use pens and oh boy i remember <laughs> I remember there was like one instance when we were playing and one of my friends was using his pens to like you know just flick it and like you know make the other's pen go down and there was a huge window beside us we were like you know in the, in the window seat <laughs> he, he whacked it so hard it went out the window <laughs> that was hilarious I still remember it it's been a while you know but still that was quite memorable anyways <laughs> so yeah here the eraser was start or whatever and each and every character has like different erasers like <laughs> they had like custom made erasers for all of these like you know like some erasers were just crazy for example uh, <laughs> uh you know uh, najimi's eraser was like a uh, what was that like komi's one was the komi and tadano's were the most um normal Makeru's was like a huge thing. I don't know what the hell that was. That like what? <laughs> and uh, Najimi also had like a like kind of like a little airplane type of a thing, like you know, like a like a custom one or something. But yeah, um, they were like you know playing, and Najimi self destructed, just shot it outside. Uh, Makoto uh, like Makeru did the same and uh <laughs> Tadano, i left how this is the part i was really surprised i was like Tadano's also going to probably flick it kind of slowly but he just went all out he's like ah, and just went all out and he just went out of bounds and komi won automatically and this is how it started and then everyone started getting in like in you know, all the characters like at first yamai and um nakanaka comes in obviously their whole rivalry thing going on and <clears throat> And then later on, as time goes on, you know, Agari joins, uh, who else? Oh, um, Sasaki, Sasaki also joins, yeah. And the, the three boys also join. Mm. Oh my god, this part, and then like, you know, this is like once someone, like, you know, hosting, Aizawa Tsukasa, that's his name. So... <laughs> I think this is the first, not probably not the first time. We probably saw him before as well. I just don't remember. But yeah, and uh, like, oh my god, that part with the whole JoJo reference, like you know, ora ora muda muda dora dora, like <laughs> oh, this this show loves its references, you know. Oh, and oh, Katai was also there. Uh, oh, that part was interesting where Katai was just sitting there and uh, um, uh, Naruto was there and. Uh, Katai just looked at Tadano and he's like, ah, let me give my like, you know, full power and just, <laughs> just flick the eraser and completely annihilated Naruse's eraser and <laughs> the, the desks and everything behind them also got annihilated. Oh my god, then, then Najimi, you know, like she brings up like a, like a mechanical thing and like almost broke his, her fingers trying to use it. And in the end... Everyone just self-destructed, but you know, like Komi was just there and she flicked and Najimi's eraser fell down, Komi won. And I have to say that was a good aim, you know, that was a difficult, difficult shot to make, but Komi did it. <laughs> and everyone just started celebrating and then like everyone started playing the game and all, and they were just having fun. And here Komi was kind of just looking at them. Now here I thought maybe Komi was thinking about how she has so many friends now and is so different from the first time you know the first day like when she had no friends and she never even thought that she would get so many friends and 
Yeah, I thought that she was thinking about that, but turns out she was thinking about something else later on when Tadano comes to the room and it was raining, you know. Uh, she said, like, she tells Tadano, and I, I like the fact that she's actually actively trying to talk and speak, you know, not only using the um, the uh, the co the notebook thing, and like at least for Tadano, she's actually actively trying to speak with him. And here, like, you know, I think she, she's, again, she tries to speak. At first she was going to write, and then she was like, no, I need to speak this verbally. And she says, like, I feel, I feel lonely of like thinking about the fact that all of this might actually end in a few weeks uh, because we are going to go to different classes. And this is one thing that I, I think like every, like, you know, like, I feel like every student probably had this fear once, even once in their life when they were like, at least students who were like, you know, like who, like introverted, like you know, uh, like you know, ch children, like me. <laughs> they probably had this fear of like you know, oh, I finally made some friends, and ah, uh, next year, you know, classes are going to get changed. Um, I pray to God that my friends are in the same class as me. This, this one thing, I'm pretty sure, like you know, a lot of introverted kids. I'm, I'm specifically mentioning introverted kids because people who are like you know, friendly and extroverted who are just like you know like the like the main character type of aura they have around them they wouldn't have any problem they can make friends anywhere they go to. i'm sure they also feel probably feel feel sad when they like you know get separated from their friends but they can make new friends but for like you know people who are unable to speak and communicate properly they, they have the huge fear about like oh i finally was able to make two or three friends ah if next year they aren't in my class anymore i don't know what i'm going to do you know, this type of a situation and uh, yeah like i'm pretty sure quite a, like a lot of people have this fear and the same thing i'm guessing komi was also thinking about komi was like if we get separated you know the class and uh, yeah what's going to happen and that's why she said it's, it's lonely like you know, this this not only that the class in itself obviously a lot of people new people will come in and a lot of people will probably go to some other class so this whole group is going to change most probably, you know, like even if Komi, Tadano and the actual main group of friends are there together, even in the next class, you know, the other people, you know, they are obviously a few of them are going to get interchanged from some other new characters who are going to come in. So that's why, you know, like that's also another reason why Komi was saying like it's lonely because this is the final time we're going to see this. But, you know, like new friends, you know, I'm sure we'll get some new friends, some new characters and everything. And this is one thing I'm kind of interested in, which I'm sure I'll get my answer in the next season when it's going to come. So are we going to get some new characters? Because the classes are going to get interchanged. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that most probably like there's like a 90% chance of Komi and Tadano being in the same class and probably Najimi as well. Um, but the thing that I'm thinking about is the other characters who are going to go to some other class and a few other characters are going to come in. So will they be new characters coming in? They might be because we did see in the end a few new characters. I'm going to check that part out again. But anyways, Komi says that, yeah, it's kind of going to be lonely and we get a little recollection, you know, like of the different scenes of how this whole season went this season and the previous season as well and uh, how she made new friends at first is was Tadano, then came in Najimi and you know Najimi is like you know energy helped a lot of other people to come in as well like Agari came in then came in Nakanaka and um, uh, Yamai and all the others you know so and very recently she she got two one of the two of the best friends that she could ever have Sasaki and uh, Kato and uh, like you know, a few other friends and yeah all these things so they kind of think about it and they were just like you know, just keeping quiet like you know, the rain was falling and everything and <laughs> Najimi comes in <laughs> just completely destroying the atmosphere <laughs> anyways Najimi is here and Najimi is like oh let's go back and yeah they are like you know, the three of them are going back home and uh, I guess the cat also found someone the, the little black cat that we see <laughs> like, she also found a friend she or he I don't know it's probably a she because the cat is kind of like you know like like it's kind of like Komi I guess they kind of draw a parallel with Komi and the cat so anyways um so yeah and uh, now here like you know th that's where it ends and then the next semester like you know the next semester <coughs> the next like, new class new year 
she gets a new notebook she goes to school and she gets into the um like kind of gets through the gate and here we get a few new characters i think let me check this part again i think i might be able to see who are the main like you know the main side characters that we'll be seeing okay the first thing that we see obviously one of the biggest <laughs> i don't know what that is but one of the biggest uh, thing that that draws your eyes in this scene is that girl with blonde hair with some thing going on on top of her head like what is that that looks like an ice cream like <laughs> she has like a little pony some flowers and so many things like that's a crazy hairstyle so most definitely this is a new character who is probably going to transfer to our class you know because we're going to change classes so this is one character another character that i can see that has potential of being a, one of the main side characters is the girl on the left side of komi who has like curly black hair short curly black hair and uh, these two these two are i think the main focus of this this scene so these two will probably be some new characters in the new next season is there anyone else okay let me see uh i feel like i saw another character like okay just a sec okay yeah there you go there's that guy with the, the ears you know the buddha ears <laughs> he, i think he is also another new character who we're going to see in the next season is there anyone else no i think that's it now here's one thing that we did not get to know um when we saw which class she is in and uh, oh i think it was implied like i was going to say they did not show us whether komi is in the same class as tadano but you know uh, like you know komi saw the class roster and she gets in and she meets tadano and here she says i look forward to uh i look forward to a another good year with you so there you go that i think that implies that tadano and komi are in the same class that's why she said like i like you know i you know another year with you i i like you know like i look forward to it that that implies that so yeah like i said tadano and komi are in the same class so yeah and again you know like i like the fact that she's actually like she could have easily used the notebook but she actually is trying to talk with tadano more actively now I feel like this is like a good step, you know. Like Tadano is the person who is the closest to her, so she could actually like you know kind of talk with him. I'm I'm pretty sure she won't be able to talk with the others, you know. Like at at least at this point, but she can start with Tadano, then she can actually start talking with others as well. So there you go, and there you go. That's it. That was this episode. This was the final episode of season two, and yeah, yeah. I I hope we get some new season, some new news that we're going to get. A sequel i'm sure we'll get a sequel because otherwise why would they tease those new characters in the end you know <laughs> so yeah like hopefully we get it soon so that's it thanks for watching this was my reaction to the final episode of komi can't communicate season 2 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah guys that's it so obviously this will be replaced with another show uh, another one of the seasonal shows like i said in one of uh, in all my previous videos i'm going to make a separate video talking about which shows i'm going to react to in two or three days you know so there i'll talk about which shows i'm going to react to like it'll be like you know a lot of seasonal animes there is a lot of seasonal animes that i want to react to this season you know this um what is this this is summer 2022 yeah summer 2022 has so many animes seasonal animes that I will react to, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that in in that in that video. So, anyways, so that's it. So, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.